Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm going to go over a penny stock that we have mentioned about a month ago. And I did want to talk about this one in particular because a lot of people have been curious if it is a buy at these levels as the market has been on a sell-off and it's on a huge dip. Now, I'm going to go over this one and I'm going to go over the market as we have been curious if this market sell-off is going to continue or if we're going to have a reversal and if these dips are something that we should be buying. Now, I'm going to go into our next favorite play. And before we get started, quick disclaimer, anything we do mention is purely for entertainment purposes. If you guys would like financial advice, recommend you contact financial professional. However, we have been going play-by-play -play, day by day throughout the whole year. So if you guys want to see more entries and breakouts, all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you will be notified at a timely matter. And again, much love to everyone that does subscribe. We do go out Monday through Friday on entries and breakouts. So again, be on the lookout for more of those. Now, this one in particular, I'm going to go over the chart update on. Now, this one is not, is not necessarily a breakout or an entry because I did want to talk about this one. Now, a close friend of mine actually asked me about this one, and this was a good chart setup to actually talk about. Now, I did want to talk about this because we did have a recent sell-off. Again, we did see this with our last video we just posted with Genius. Um, I did post an update video on that as it did have a huge sell-off. We see this huge sell-off candle here. And a lot of people are curious if it's going to bounce off of our support here and actually create a new support line or if it's going to continue to sell off. Now, we are going to let the play come to us on this one. We want to make sure this one does consolidate, as I mentioned, because we could see here on the overall market on the IWM, which is the overall market, you can see that we have been having a sell-off. You see the same red candle that you see on most of your stocks probably. And that huge red candle is something to look at. So again, watching the IWM is very key at these levels because because if it does break below this, it could break down to our previous resistance around 206. And we want to make sure we're not in the middle of that. As we could see on IDEX, if that did happen, we would probably drop down to around a dollar. And if we bought around 272 and it dropped around to two dollars, it could it would give us around a 30% loss. So again, I would be careful. I want to make sure that it does consolidate sideways because we did have a huge sell-off. And when something moves so quickly going downwards, you want to make sure that it does confirm by moving slowly sideways and upward, because if it moves straight back up as quick as it does go up, it will come back down. And we could even see a huge sell off if it does come up as quickly as it does. As you could see, actually, right now it has been spiking up. Um, but however, I think that's just a correction. And I think it could possibly be on more of a sell off. So I definitely would be careful on IDDX as we are on a huge sell off. And we want to make sure that we do get more confirmation on the consolidation. And that goes for most stocks and most plays that we'll be posting about today. So again, I am going to be posting more plays today on entries and breakouts. But again, much love to everybody that has been in the comment section and subscribing. I appreciate all the love you've been showing me. And if you guys do have a watch list, throw in the comment section. Anything on your mind, throw in the comment section. I love talking to you guys. God bless you all. And I will see you guys in the next video.